Here is the latest from Oil City News on K2 Radio. A 2020 ordinance setting up licensing requirements for massage therapists in Casper is getting an overhaul after staff and police say it's not having the desired effect. City officials, including Casper Police Department Chief Keith McFeeders, say the original ordinance came with the support and input of massage therapists in the community who wanted to distinguish themselves from illegitimate operations engaged in prostitution under the guise of massage therapy services. The ordinance required the massage therapists get a permit from the city, pass a background check, and present documentation certified to find the completion of a massage therapy school. That latter requirement's difficult to vet, this according to City Clerk Amanda Ainsworth, who told council at a work session on Tuesday. A lot of these schools are closed, said Ainsworth, adding that city staff doesn't have the expertise or reliable metrics to establish whether some of these schools were legitimate or even existed at all. McFeeders told the council that illegitimate operations had been able to get the licenses from the city. Recommended changes to the ordinance include requiring that applicants have their transcripts from either the Massage and Bodywork Licensing Examination or the National Certification Board for Therapeutic Massage sent directly to the clerk's office. Licenses issued by other states would also be acceptable. Ainsworth said Wyoming is one of only three or four states that don't have a state-level massage licensing board, so Casper has taken on the unusual task of acting as licensing entity. Council documents note it was hoped the state legislature would take up take up this matter Excuse me, since 20. 2020. Another recommendation for an updated ordinance is to change the license renewal period from two years to one. And another suggestion from police is massage parlors be required to get health department inspections every year. Based on previous investigations, the sanitary conditions were good indicators for who was legitimate and who was not. The memo added that other counties in Wyoming require the same of their massage therapy businesses. Police are also recommending operating hours for licensed massage therapists to be limited to 5 a.m. to 9 p.m. A draft of the revised ordinance is expected in the coming weeks. In lieu of reassembling the committee of massage therapists that advised on the ordinance four years ago, Mayor Steve Cathy said those stakeholders would likely be contacted personally about the revised ordinance. There would be opportunities for the public to weigh in before and during a public comment hearing and three readings of the ordinance should it advance. We will let you know when those dates are. The Mule Deer Foundation has used a $250,000 grant to launch conservation projects to enhance wildlife habitats and connectivity for grassland species across the Great Plains. The grant comes through the Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's Outdoor Fund, allowing the foundation a quarter million dollars to leverage an additional $1.4 million from other partners and internal sources. Per the release, the funding pays for the implementation of dozens of projects on working lands and ranches across the Great Plains states to improve thousands of acres of wildlife habitat. These projects will span eastern Wyoming, South Dakota, Montana, eastern Colorado, North Dakota, western Kansas, Oklahoma, Texas, and New Mexico. These efforts are to benefit mule deer populations and other grassland-dependent species like sage-grouse, upland birds, and waterfowl. And finally, the Natrona County High School Theater Department began its final dress rehearsals this week ahead of its performances of the acclaimed play, The Outsiders. Final dress rehearsals kicked off on Monday afternoon. They concluded on Tuesday. Students will perform the dramatic play on three nights. That's going to be tonight, November 14th, on Friday and Saturday. All performances will start at 7 p.m. and admission is free. This stage adaptation of The Outsiders is based on a novel by S.E. Hinton. It's set in the 1960s. The story examines youth navigating their way around class and social issues. It looks at themes such as identity and belonging. The play is directed by Ryan Landman. Uh, photographer Dan Cepeda put together a lovely gallery of photos from their rehearsal. You can check those out at k2radio.com. Reporting in Casper, this is Colby Fedor. Be sure to like and follow us on Facebook for all our latest up-to-date coverage.